Alright guys, what is going on? My name is Ollie Ward and welcome back to another video. Bit of a different start for a transfer video as I'm going to try and do this video a bit unedited. There's going to be a few edits here and there if I lose my train of thought or... Or like that. Basically, I'm just very busy today, guys. It's a hot day as well. I want to be out in the sun as much as I can, but I do want to give you some transfer updates, some transfer news on what is going on at Ellen Road. I want to know in the comments down below, guys, if you guys do enjoy more videos like this, less editing, all that good stuff. I did put a poll on the community page on my channel. A lot of you said less editing, but more consistently. So if I do it like this, it will be probably a lot easier to do. Also, guys, I'm under 100 subscribers away from 3,000, okay, that is mental. I asked a few days back, probably about a week ago now, uh, I was about 350 subscribers away, we're now under 100. So if you guys are new, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, and comment. Comment where you're from, and also drop a like. Can we smash 85 likes on this video, guys? Without further ado, let's get into the Leeds United news. <laughs> The first player I want to talk about is Lewis Bates. He is an 18-year-old English central midfielder who plays for Chelsea. And it looks like he is on his way to Leeds United. This has been going on for the last couple of days. I haven't reported too much about it as I didn't know how far it was going to go. But it looks now that personal terms have been agreed. A fee has been agreed. And as it stands, a medical is going on. Okay, if you guys haven't seen this player, he looks class. Okay, type in Lewis Bates highlights. He looks unreal. I'm not even joking. 1.5 million apparently is the fee agreed for that. In my eyes, that looks like an absolute steal, okay? He will initially go into the under 23s, but he could definitely break into the first team. I'm not even joking. If you if you do watch him, he he's, he's so fast. He's, he's left-footed as well, which I really like a left-footed player. I know it's weird. To watch a left-footed player, just it turns me on more than a right-footed player. Ollie, he's 18. You're older than him. I'm not a pedophile. I have to I have to say that a lot in my videos. I don't know why. But yes, no, he looks a very, very good player. I can definitely see him breaking into the first team. A lot of people are saying, let's just focus on a central midfielder who's going to start for us. Why are we getting in players like this? But I tell you what, he's not just a player. This guy's a talent. I think he's going to be generational. Come back to me in a few years when he's, he's awful. But... Look at some highlights of him, guys. I wouldn't be saying this if he was just a basic player. His pace, his passing, his dribbling. I don't know how many goals he scored from central midfield. But yeah, it, it looks like a hell of a sign. And being 18, going straight into the under-23s, looks good. And he can break into our first team 100%. I really do like the look of him. And it looks like if everything goes right, he will be a Leeds United player in the next 24 to 48 hours. He will be our fourth or fifth signing of this transfer window. Obviously, a few of them have gone into the under-23s. We've signed a lot of like under-18s as well, which is good. You know, we're always building for the future. A lot of our Big good players have come from our academy, a.k.a. Calvin Phillips. So yeah, a player like Lewis Bate, it does look all good. And it is confirmed, and he is very close to signing for Leeds United. The next player I do want to talk about is Maxwell Cornet. We have spoke about him a bit before. From Leon. he is a left-back since Junior Firpo did come into Leeds United. The, the talking and interest has kind of gone away from him, but it has kind of came out again that he has spoke, not him, his agent or close to the player, has said there's been no official bid from Leeds to Leon, so they haven't had to reject anything, but there was interest there. I don't know if there still is now. They're saying Burnley is a possibility for Maxwell Cornet, but... I don't think the player does want to go there. I think Burnley are interested in signing him, but I do not believe they that the player wants to actually move to Burnley, and you see why. Javi Gallan was also another name that came up for left-back. Obviously, we spoke about him for a long time here on the Oli Ward channel. I thought he was going to be the signing we were going to make, and then Firpo came out of nowhere. But we don't have any other left-backs now than Junior Firpo. Obviously, Dallas can play left-back. Alioski's now gone. Leif Davis looks like he's on his way to Bournemouth, and they want to get rid of Niall Huggins as well so no real left backs in so Javi Gallan if it is still around three four million pounds would definitely be a steal I'd definitely take that but does he want to play first team football and I don't think he'll get that ahead of Junior Firpo but yeah Maxwell Cornet no official bid has been made from Leeds they're still a bit interested but more likely it's not going to happen but yeah I thought I'd give you an update on there and it doesn't look like he's going to go Burnley either as much as Burnley are interested in the left back next player I want to talk about is Matthias Kuna is it Matthias Matthias Kuna, basically it doesn't look like he is on his way to Legion United as much as people do want him. 
I don't think it's going to happen. Fabrizio Romano, a very well-known journalist, has also come out and said there's no advanced talks. Leeds haven't really made an offer. There was a there was a bit of interest, the media interest, but now there is nothing really. It doesn't look like any fee will be agreed in that case. I personally didn't too know didn't know sorry too much about him. Um, I didn't know if I wanted him at the club or not. Obviously, Patrick Bamford would be my number one with Rodrigo just sitting behind him. Um, I think it would be unfair if we did bring in. A new strike. A lot of people still don't like Bamford. I think he proved a lot of people wrong last season that he could score goals. Could he have scored more? 100% and I think he knows that as well. But to drop him after the season he's had, 18 goals, 9 assists, I, I, I think it would be harsh definitely and it, he's, he's better than a bench player 100%. For him not to get in the England side this summer, I thought was a bit, not to play, I wouldn't think he'd start over Harry Kane, don't even think maybe he'd start over Dominic Calvert-Lewin, I don't know, but uh, to, to not even be taken, I thought was taking the piss a bit, same with Jack Harrison, but uh, Matthias Kuna doesn't look like it's going to happen, I thought I'd update you on that guys, and also I want to talk about Marcelo Bielsa, as we are recording and on this day, it is his birthday, uh, happy birthday Marcelo Bielsa, I believe he's 66, doesn't look a day over 20 I tell you. According to sources around Ellen Road and around Thorpe Park, she hasn't had a day off this summer, since the Premier League ended, he's just kept going, which I love to see, which shows a manager not leaving, as, uh, like people still think he's going, he's, he's really not. Also it's came out that he's house hunting, in the spring he's going to be house hunting, which maybe shows he's going to be here for more years to come. That definitely does show, doesn't it doesn't. You don't just get a house in the springtime and, and you go a few months later. I don't think that's going to happen. So it looks like maybe Marcelo Bielsa will be here for a few more years. So guys, that is all the news I've got for you guys today. It's not a lot of news, but it's around Lewis Bate. I wanted to get that out because I haven't spoke too much about him and he's very close to joining Leeds United. I thought I'd chuck in uh, Maxwell Corne as well. Basically saying transfers aren't happening apart from Lewis Bate. I think the central midfielder that we will get in, we won't know about until literally a couple of days and then we'll sign him. Like like Junior Firpo, a lot of things uh, are happening behind the scenes that we don't know and also that they don't want to put out into the public, which is fair enough. I really like that, but it is hard for me to make content when it is like that. You know, I can't say, oh yeah, this mystery player is is good. Like I don't know him, do you know what I mean? And, and getting in a player like Lewis Bay, I keep talking about him right now. When you finish this video, after you've smashed a like and subscribed, go watch Lewis Bay highlights, okay? He looks like a hell of a player. I can't wait to see him in Leeds United colours. So guys, I hope you did enjoy this transfer video. If you did, smash a like, comment where you are from and also subscribe if you are new. We're very close to 3,000 subscribers. If you do like this non-editing stuff, talking more, just giving you more content, more consistently, let me know in the comments down below. Or do you prefer more of the edited, where you see the highlights, where you see photos more, more, just let me know what you want. Less edited or more edited. I'm off now for work for a few weeks, so basically I can give you what you guys want. If you like this type of content, be sure to smash that like button and tell me in the comments down below. It's a bloody hot day. I'm gonna go get myself back out there. You guys do it too. Smash a like, subscribe if you're new. I've been Ollie Ward, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheery.